What's up, fellas? So I had a patron supporter that wanted to know, why would a woman uh, have an abortion after she chosen you? All right, because obviously this young man, he'll obviously still think that having kids is based off a woman thinking you're pre-selection and shit like this. God, that ain't, that ain't really got uh, a lot to do with it. All right, y'all guys got to understand that uh, when a woman is looking for a beta male provider, it ain't even about pre-selection. It's about providing. All right, so that's first and foremost. For, first and foremost, so if you think that you had a baby with a woman and you think like she chosen you, no, nature chose you, all right, if you're a beta male. All right, this only applies if you're an alpha male. Do y'all guys understand that? Because I think a lot of you guys think that just because a woman chose why did she choose you? You need to understand that. That's first and foremost. Second of all, guys, y'all need to understand that women work off emotions. All right, women work off emotions. So that means that I'm feeling this way one day and the next day, ah, y'all guys need to understand that y'all guys can't grasp why you went on a date with a woman and it seems so great and then the next day you can't never get up with her no more. And she, she liked at you yesterday and the day she don't. Women are like this. Women can be head over heels in love with you today and 10 days from now, they not. Women are emotional. This how they. This how they operate. If any of you guys ever been in a uh, long term relationship, you will see women have emotional spending. They they just operate off of their emotions. They just go with what feels good right now. This feels good right now. I'll deal with the consequences later. All right, guys. So whenever y'all deal with women, y'all need to understand it. I still get a lot of emails and stuff, guys, wondering what went wrong. She went cold. She went cold because women are emotional. She liked it you a week ago, and today she don't. It's just that simple, guys. It, it did you do something wrong? Maybe. Did you over pursue? Maybe. Or maybe she just woke up on the wrong side of the bed today and saw that she got a big old vagina and that she can get another man just like that. A lot of y'all guys put too much fucking thought into this. Y'all guys have to go into this with a bunch mindset. Almost kind of, you know, not blindsided when women do shit like this. Because they going to do shit like that from time to time. Y'all guys will be going good with a woman two weeks, three weeks, two months, three months. And here she go pulling back. Did you do anything wrong? Probably not. Just the way women operate. So first of all, guys, I got some reasons why. A woman would want to have an abortion. Alright. <clears throat> First and foremost, guys, and I know this is gonna sound crazy to y'all, but when a woman is starting her ass around and she's not in the you know provider looking for a provider stage, this is when a woman's ready to settle down stage. A woman will have an abortion because she doesn't want it to mess up her body. Alright, because it's gonna lower her sexual market value. All right, women are not stupid. Women know what their sexual, what makes their sexual market value. All right, men seem to don't understand that our sexual market value is made up of our finances, our charisma, charisma, and our looks. Women know theirs is primarily based off of their looks. Primarily, their personality got a little bit to do with it. It do. When you're a high value male like me, I don't give a fuck how fine you is. If that personality, I'm not saying you got to be Mary Poppins. But what I'm saying is that fucking bitchy ass, you know, behavior and shit, I'm not going to tolerate it. Low interest, high, I don't give a fuck what the reason is. I don't give a fuck if you're bipolar, whatever the fuck going on, I don't tolerate that bullshit. So, but most of it is going to be based off of looks. Plain and simple, guys. So, a lot of women will have an abortion just because they don't want to fuck up their body. All right, guys. The next thing is the dude is attractive. When I say attractive, I'm not just talking about looks. I'm talking about personality and all that. Swag, confidence, all that comes with attraction. Just not the physical. All right? So he's attractive, but he's not a provider. All right? So when a woman go out here and she fuck one of these sexual alphas, maybe he's you know attractive as in personality and swag and confidence and looks and all that. But he ain't got shit going for his, going for himself, guys. I kind of experienced this uh, at the tail end before I became a personal trainer. All right, when I became a personal trainer, I had to lost all that weight, but I still wasn't making no money. And a lot of the times, women didn't take me serious as somebody to get in a relationship with. 
All right, they saw me as something to have fun with, but not in a relationship with. And for all you guys that want to say, well, how you fucking know that? Guys, I know what the question sound like. All right, I know what a relationship girl question sound like. Guys, if you with a woman and she didn't ask you, how's the dating life going? How long was your last relationship? Guys, that's a girl that's looking for a relationship. When you get that, when I was... You know, lost all that weight and I was looking good, but my finances wasn't there yet. I didn't get those questions. All right. You don't get those questions when women don't see you as something as a boyfriend material or provider, whatever the fuck you want to call it. All right. A woman, when a woman don't see you as boyfriend material, you just get, you know, in the moment questions. What's going on in basketball? You know, where you like to travel, what you like to do in your spare time. You don't get those relationship type questions. What caused your last relationship to break up? See, this is when a woman is looking for a relationship. And by chance, guys, when you get one of those girls, you damn near got to try hard to fuck up. When a woman has her mind made up that she's ready to look for a provider, all right, you got to fuck hard to fuck that up. All right. If, if you just got a decent job because she's looking for a pro, she's ready to settle down. All right. Typically, that woman there is very hard to over pursue. You have to act real needy with a woman like that. Typically, you're going to over pursue the women that are just casually dating. When a woman is looking for a relationship, unless you just blow her phone up and shit like that, it's hard to over pursue her. All right. So. That's when you know, that's how you can tell when a woman sees you as, you know, a strict alpha, as a fun boy, or a fuck boy, or somebody that's a provider. Or, also, where her mindset is at. Alright, where her mindset is. She's trying to find out where your mindset is at. So, if a woman goes and fuck with a dude that she finds attractive, alright, but he doesn't have shit going on for herself, she can have a fucking abortion if she ain't got a beta male to put it on. Alright, guys? Another thing is... She cheated and don't want a boyfriend to know. I, I actually had this happen, guys. I actually fucked a girl that was with a dude, that lived with a dude, got her pregnant, and for all you guys wondering why she didn't just put it on him, it's because they supposedly had protected sex. He already had two kids, and he didn't want no more kids, and he used protection, uh, he used protection every time. And so she couldn't even try to claim that it was his. All right, so basically she called me and asked, you know, if I have this kid, do you have somewhere for me to stay? And I'm like, you can't stay here with me. And she said, okay, I'll do what I got to do. All right. Now, I actually wanted the kid because I'm against abortion and shit like that. But, you know, it's her body. I can't stop her. Not so, but understand that if a woman cheats with you and she has a beta male cook at home and she can't put it on him, she'll have an abortion, guys. All right. A lot of you guys don't seem to understand this. A woman could just be haunted for one night all right guys sometimes y'all are going these days and you can really not be doing everything right typically but the woman just wants some dick that night all right and it happens guys it happens it ain't got to be the first day it could be the second day but you really ain't do nothing you just got lucky so to speak you caught on the night she just wanted some fucking dick all right but if she going to get pregnant if the condom buzzer, you didn't wear fucking protection, she probably going to want to have an abortion. Why? Because she's not in the mindset for that. Now, first and foremost, a woman has to, you know, be okay with having an abortion. I would say most women, regardless of who they have a baby by, ain't going to have an abortion. I would say that's at least probably, what, 60% of the women, and I'm just throwing a number out there. That's not, no matter who they have a kid by, whether they like to do it or not, it's Pookie or Ray Ray or not. They just not going to have an abortion because they just don't think it's morally correct. But the women that don't have an uh, issue with it morally, if they have any of these issues, they have no problem with having a fucking abortion, guys. All right? But it is it, it, guys, y'all got to get off your head and thinking that every time a woman sleep with you, she chose you. Sometimes Mother Nature chose you. Sometimes, guys, when you go out here and you meet some of these women, guys, when I tell y'all guys perfect timing, if you meet a woman and she's just in the mindset to where she's, you know, for whatever reason, maybe she feels she's getting old or maybe she just get baby rabies where a woman just all of a sudden just, I want a baby, I want a baby, I want a baby. Well, she just want to start a fucking family and she will fuck you and not necessarily that she chose you, Mother Nature chose you because 
she thought that you might be a good provider. It don't mean that she thought you were pre-selected or alpha male or none of that bullshit. It just means that she was ready to start a fucking family and you the beta cup. And, and, and this is the thing. Women are good at acting. She'll do everything in her possibility to make you think she really into you. When in essence, in, in essence she just want to start a family. She might not really even be attracted to you. She just might want to start a fucking family. She just get that urge to want to start a family. All right, guys. So that's what I got to say about that. So no, if a woman do uh, sleep with you, it does not mean you chosen. It could have been for a host of reasons. Maybe you were just lucky that night and just she wanted some dick. Maybe she wanted to get back at her boyfriend and she fucked you and you just got pregnant. And she want to go be with him, but she can't have a baby. It's a host of reasons, guys. But no, it don't mean she chose you just because... A woman got pregnant by you. All right, women act off emotions. Today she like you. Tomorrow you might not, can't never get on a date with her. It's just the way it is, guys. This is the biggest issue I see with men understanding women. This is what I've seen, the biggest issue. Men go out with women, have a great time, everything is going great, and for the life of them, they can't understand why they can't get on a date. Or she just started pulling back and I didn't over-pursue. You don't got to over-pursue. She's a woman. She's emotional. Just wake up. Ah, eh, I'm bored. On to the next. Just the way it is, guys. All right, I'll get back with you guys later, man.